guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're just going to tear this Garrett apart and see what's wrong with it. And then upgrade it with new bearings and thrust washer, compressor, etc. So uh, we'll tear into it now and, and see what's wrong with it. Uh, it was making a squealing noise at about 12 to 13 PSI. And uh, I only ran it that way for oh, a couple hundred miles before I uh, pulled it off and uh, replaced it. I don't so. think I've done any damage to it. Um, parts are cheap for this, so if I did uh, damage the shaft or anything, I'll, I'll replace it. So anyway, let's tear into it and see what it's uh, what's wrong with it. So there's no leakage here from the uh, the seal. It's good, and there's no leakage on the turbine seal either. So if any damage was done, it was very slight. But nonetheless, I'd like to figure out why. First place before I keep making running it. So the uh, 
The turbine housing is in great shape. Uh, there's no rubbing, so all that's good. Now I'll pull apart the uh, the housing and see how the bearings are. guys welcome back uh, we're just going through this Garrett T04e and uh, rebuilding it <clears throat> uh, I tore it down I, I couldn't really find anything wrong with it um, so we're putting new bearings in it a uh, new thrust washer and then I'm going to upgrade the uh, compressor housing or attempt to upgrade the compressor housing to a uh, 59 millimeter from a 60 uh, a 56 0.5 millimeter so uh, here's the old bearings um, they are worn so I replaced them with new ones the thrust washer had wear on it as well but nothing that would cause any rubbing there was no contact any rubbing on on the uh, turbine side or the compressor side so I'm at, at a loss as to what the noise was but anyway it's given me the excuse to uh, to take it apart put new bearings in it and uh, upgrade the thrust washer so there's the old thrust washer you can see a little bit of the wear on that um, and that's the new 360 degree thrust washer that I got and I'll just give that a clean there that's a bit of engine oil washer so there's the new bearings and thrust washer in it and uh, there's a little bit of play but but nothing that's abnormal it's totally normal so I'm just gonna put her back together and uh, and send it but in the meantime I'm um, just experimenting uh, fitting a um, 59 millimeter compressor blade so here's the 59 here and it's significantly larger than the T04E 56.5 so I've never done this before, so um, baby steps. I took an old an old housing that I'm not going to use. I mean, I can use it for something else, but at this time, I'm not going to use it. And I'm just experimenting with um, turning it on my lathe and putting larger wheels in it. So that was the stock wheel. Uh, that's a 54 millimeter uh, wheel. And that fits in this housing here. And you can see that's the stock T04B housing. And now I've turned it out to fit the 56 millimeter, or 56.5 millimeter, which is the the uh, silver um, compressor. So I'm just experimenting with this, whether or not I can even do it on my lathe uh, first before I sacrifice the, the good housing. So I'm just using this old housing and making sure I can actually uh, turn it on my lathe precisely and get this radius correct. So I've got it just about perfect. Um, so now I'm just going to put this back on the lathe and work on this space here 
and uh, see if I can get this finished off. And then, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to do a, what's called a T51R mod. And essentially it, it gets rid of this piece here, puts a surge protection in, and uh, makes the turbo the whistle more. The T51R mod makes the turbo uh, whistle more. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, we'll rebuild this unit, and then... Do the T51R mod with the 50, where is it, 59 millimeter um, turbine blade. So here's the 59. So, and uh, then we'll put that on the truck and run it and see how I like it. And uh, see how well it works with this 0.81 housing. Or the 0.96 housing. We'll see. Um, anyway, we'll try this one, see how well this works, and I'll bring you along for the, the facing and see if this will work at all.